Welcome back to another video. Uh, so today, we're doing Emmy predictions. Um, Emmy, uh, this year, the nominations are like, come out in like on July 12th or something like that. I just got back from summer camp, which was like one week long, so I wasn't able to upload or create anything. Uh, I have a bunch of videos coming out, including predictions, uh, awards redos, uh, stuff like uh, that. Uh, before we get started, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and um, one more thing. Uh, uh, I would like to give a quick shout out to uh, Armin Mose, who's been a long time uh, viewer and then uh, on on this channel, and then he's helped me uh, create all uh, all of these um, predictions. This video probably wouldn't exist without him, so uh, thank you, Armin. So let's get started. Okay, Hax is at number one. I dropped ten, uh, Lasso down to three. So Hax and Barry are much stronger. I feel like Hax, since it won writing and directing uh, last year, it's probably it, it's probably going to win series, and then um, that would be really well deserved. Uh, Barry's getting in, Ted Lasso's getting in, but I don't think it's winning. Four, Only Murders in the Building, Season 2 comes out in a few days. Five, uh, Abbott Elementary. I mean, it's going to get in, come on. Six, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Uh, I feel like I have a hunch for some reason that it's going to get snubbed across the board, but then why would they do that to uh, a series that literally just won Best Comedy Series uh, a few years ago? But uh, it could still happen. Seven is what we do in the shadows. It got nominated before. Eight, I'm reluctantly uh, still having Atlanta on here. Uh, it's it's still good, but then it got si uh, sidetracked this season. Nine is blackish because they typically uh, like that series. Uh, it's its final season, so be, uh, don't be surprised uh, if it gets. Uh, nominated uh, for this. Dennis Reservation Dogs, I think it, it can still get in because of all the representation. I'm going to script your enthusiasm. Uh, so I think this series got uh, nominated uh, for this category, like the for the past nine seasons or something like that. Uh, I think it misses this year, but then don't be surprised if it it can still get nominated. Uh, and then the flight attendant, I, some people aren't predicting it. I'm not feeling it. I'm rooting for after party and our flagging's death. And then Variety has ghosts at number seven for some reason. I don't understand it. I mean, nobody has watched that show. Uh, why would they nominate it? But uh, we'll see. Drama. Number one succession. It's been number one all year. Two is Squid Game, Dang In, Ozark, This Beloved. Four is Severance. Uh, everyone who has seen that series that I know loves it. Uh, Stranger Things and Better Call Saul, they've made it in like pretty much every season. Seven is Seven, This Is Us. This is the finale season. I think it gets in. Eight is Yellowstone, barely squeaking past Yellow Jackets. Yellowstone has PGA, SAG Ensemble. Uh, I think it gets in. The, uh, and then it has its spin-off shows as well, like 1883. And then, but then Yellow Jackets, the people who have seen it, they're predicting it all the way at like number four or something. So don't be surprised if it get, that gets nominated. I don't feel like Euphoria is getting nominated. Uh, I'm rooting for... Uh, Pachinko, uh, so apparently I've been saying it wrong, where like the past few months I've been pronouncing it like Pachinko, uh, it's Pachinko, I need to, so one day I'm, I'm probably going to make a compilation of me like just butchering uh, names, because I've done it a lot. Um, Outstanding Limited Series. Dope Sick, White Lotus, Locks, they're trying to battle 
for, uh, each other for the win. Drop out. Who doesn't love a good a good series about Elizabeth Holmes? For the staircase, I love this series. It's incredibly intriguing. I've is made. It's it's just barely getting in just because of like the popularity when it came out. Six is ban uh, under the banner of heaven. Uh, I don't think it gets in. Pipe was so strong at the beginning of the year, but then it's 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 like gone. Um. And then Pam and Tommy could get in, but then that's if we're like the like real contenders. And a lot of people on Gold Derby are saying that uh, are like predicting Gaslit, which I don't understand. I mean, there's never really much hype for that show, so why would they nominate it? And then and Station Eleven, I had that like at number three or like four or five or something at one point, and now it's uh, dipped all the way down to. Uh, number 10. Television movies. So Help is not eligible uh, uh, neither, uh, and then Kimmy is not eligible either. So Sur uh, Survivor, Fallout King, and Chip and Dale, it went viral because of like one of, you know, like the character I'm talking about with Betts Blue, and then he goes super slow. Um, four is Ray Donovan. The series got uh, nominated for drama series a couple of times. I think it gets in. I just want you. I want you back. I like that movie. It made me feel good. It's a rom com and everything. And then seven is fresh. I mean, some people are predicting it. I don't. I'm hesitant to. I mean, they've they've done weirder things before, such as Fahrenheit four fifty one. And it's Skies Everywhere Could Happen. It's 824 Apple, uh, Apple TV+. Plus. Um, and then The House is Netflix. That could happen, but it's animated. So I don't know how all well that's going to do. Bill Hayer, I think it's going to win the actor and comedy series. Jason Sudeikis doesn't have the, the, uh, like the momentum it had like last year. Steve Martin, Dane in. I think Anderson, I don't know why people are doubting it. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, it's gotten in like pretty much all, most, but not all, if not all, the seasons when Blackish was airing. And then Martin Shorts came in. And I didn't know which one of the Dons to put in Donald Glover, Don Cheadle. I went with Donald Glover because I think he's won this category before. But Don, Don Cheadle randomly popped up like two times for this. So don't be surprised. I'm hoping that Reese Arby gets in for Our Flag Means Death. Um, lead actress in a comedy series, Jane Smart getting in, Quinta Brunson is getting in, Rachel Brosnahan is getting in. And then I need to choose four people to, uh, three people for, uh, no, wait. I need to, to choose three people out of four possible contenders to make up these last few spots. I decided to put Selena Gomez first because, I mean, Only Murders is coming out like next week. I mean, at least season two. And then uh, this the problem with SAG was that like about half of the category was, was supporting uh, people. That made it hard for her to uh, actually like, get in. Um, and then Tracy Ellis Ross, she's been nominated a bunch of times. This is the final season. And then it was Issa Rae or Kaylee Cuoco. So Issa Rae, um, Insecure, it's its last season. Uh, but then they've snapped her before and then they might go Kaylee Cuoco, but then Biden isn't as strong as last season. And then I'm I'm rooting for uh, Sierra uh, Lancashire. I think you know, she embodied Julia Child. Uh, also rooting for Elle Fanning. She was great. She was snubbed for season one. And then um, okay, uh, I'm saying lead actor in the drama series. Okay, Jeremy Strong, number one for Succession. He won last time. Lee Jun Jae for Squid Game could win. Um, now Brian Cox, 
Variety is snubbing him and Sterling K. Brown for some reason for Kevin Costner and Josh Brolin and their Western TV shows. I don't understand why they would snub them, especially since Sterling K. Brown uh, got nominated for all of the seasons or something. Uh, but then, yeah, M. Scott could happen. Jason Bateman is getting in. Bob Odenkirk, I know that he got some last time, but I think he still gets in. I was saying lead actress in the drama series. I need to make this quick because last time I tried to do this, I went over the 15 minute mark. Okay, uh, Zendaya is getting in. She's probably winning. Rooting for Melanie Linsky for the win. Lenny is uh, getting in. Many more. This is us. Final season. I think she gets in. I was Jen Jennifer Aniston. Nobody wants her to get nominated, but I think she still will. And Kelly Riley for Yellowstone. I mean, talk about wow. Uh, the wow. I mean, she was at like number fourteen in supporting at the beginning of the year, and now she's like she she might get nominated for lead actress once they made the flip. Um. Uh, so Terry Coon might get in. Britt Lauer. Rooting for Juliette Lewis got nominated for an Oscar before. She, uh, I won't be surprised if she gets nominated for this. And then Killing Eve Girls not happening. I was saying late after a limited series or movie. Keaton and Firth blocks Andrew Garfield. Who doesn't love Andrew Garfield? Oscar Isaac has this and Moon Knight to back him up. Uh, Sebastian Sand, he's getting in. And then I'm not sure if Ben Foster will get in. I really want him to get in. He was great. And then he might get uh, snuff for someone like Jared Leto or Sam Elliott. That that could very well happen. But then I think this top six is, uh, six is solid. Uh, I'll say lead actress in a limited series or movie. Cypher, number one. Um, I would prefer quality, but then uh, uh, Chastain, uh, she's, she just won her Oscar. She's getting in. For Lily James, Pam and Tommy, she's getting in. And then I didn't know who to put for my last five. Julia Gardner, because this is like Ewan McGregor for Halston. Mid reviews, but then the performance is praised. So therefore, they get in. Six, I decide to go with Julia Roberts for Gasset over Tony Collette. Because here's the thing Tony Collette is kind of frauded into lead that might bite them. Uh, in the butt for doing uh, for campaigning her as lead because she doesn't have that much as like a lead to do it's just like flashbacks and then julia roberts big name she's been nominated a bunch of times before and i will say don't underestimate claire foy if, uh, claire foy she's won a bunch of times before as well as she's been nominated a bunch of times before uh so thanks for watching uh stay tuned for other videos in the future in the near future and oh i don't know what that was uh